Hi everyone, in this video, I will discuss how to formulate the statement of the problem and the objectives of the study or the project. So we have here the guidelines in formulating the general problem and specific questions. So the general statement of the problem and the specific questions should be formulated first before developing the software programs. And each specific question must be clear and unambiguous. So what do we mean by this? If you say you are going to develop a system, so you must specify what system is it, what are its requirements, and anything else. Then, third is answers to specific questions must contribute to the development of the whole research problem or capstone project. Okay, so um, the questions or specific questions should be, uh, should answer what is your um, whole project is about or the main objective of your um, study or project. And number four, the number of specific questions should cover the whole problem or case under study. And lastly, Generally, there should be a general statement of the problem and then broken up into as many specific questions as necessary. So we have here an example. The main problem of the project is to assist the Tabaco University in the admission, registration, monitoring, and advising of their students. So this is the general statement. As you can see, it is specific. Um, it does not say the, um, the system for Tabaco University. It specifies the processes that are implemented in the system. Admission, registration, monitoring, and advising. Since they are only focusing on those processes. So we have here our specific questions. How to design and develop a web-based system called administration, registration, and monitoring system armies which will be capable of a providing an in an efficient online enrollment system wherein payment may be made in campus and out campus so um take note it um the payment may be made in campus and out campus are specified already here then providing an advising system in, by generating appropriate courses which should be registered by the students considering the prerequisites and co-requisites of courses provided in the student's program of study. So another specific year. So we have the registered or the process of registration. And um, in the specific question, it also specifies the requirements, so considering the prerequisites and co-requisites of courses provided in the student's program of study. Okay, Then, allowing faculty members to encode the grades during a period to be determined by the use, blah, blah, blah. So, okay, um, another details here that should be defined. Then, the second question is, what is the level of conformity of the ARMIS software concerning the ISO 9126 standards? Okay, so this is another specific question. And lastly, how to implement and deploy the ARMIS software to maximize organizational benefits? Okay, so that is the third specific question. There are things to note in writing a statement of the problem. So, problem statements do not refer to the problems being experienced by the organization under study, nor the gaps in the theoretical aspects of computing. So, rather, the statement of the problems refer to the challenges, goals, or objectives that are needed to be accomplished by the proponents. Okay? So, it has been observed that one of the common errors manifested in the capstone projects of computing student, students is that under the statement of the problems, they put herein those unsatisfactory conditions that need solutions. No, um, you have already 
describe that in your introduction, these unsatisfactory conditions. So, no need to repeat them in the statement of the problem. So, in the statement of the problem, your focus is to um, identify the things that you needed to accomplish or the challenges that you needed to hurdle. Okay, now we have the objectives of the study. So, the objectives of the study guide the researcher and the reader to know what the proponents need to do. And this usually the, follow the chronological sequence of the statement of the problem and its specific questions. Okay, so from the statement of the problem, you just only need to um, um, change the questions into declarative form. Okay? So, the objectives are written by either beginning with an action verb or an infinitive. Example of an infinitive is to determine the efficiency of the system as perceived by the employees, to identify possible problems encountered with the present system. Okay? So, the main objective of the project, this is an example. Um, this is the specific objective and the main objective for the sample illustration in our statement of the problem. So, take, uh, take a notice of this statement. The main objective of the project is to assist the Tobacco University in the admission, registration, monitoring, and advising of their students. If we go back to the statement of the problem, the main problem of the project, so this is just similar to the objectives here. Okay, now we go to the specific objectives. Design and develop a web-based system called Admission, Registration, and Monitoring System or ARMIS, which will be capable of then the following specific objectives. Now, if we go back to the statement of the problem, they are just similar. Okay? And so on and so forth for the second and third specific objective so in the ob objectives of the study it is the same as the statement of the problem the only difference is that the latter is written in an interrogative form while the former is in declarative form so the researcher may use either one of the two in technical research like computing Chad's template strongly suggests that we use objectives of the study instead of statement of the problem for IT or IS capstone projects and computer science thesis dealing with software development. Okay? So, since most of you are dealing with software development in your research, so we will just be using the uh, objectives of the study and the statement of the problem shall be used only for thesis in computer science dealing with computer science foundations and mathematical aspects okay so we have already discussed in our unit one or either unit two um, the Topics that are under the computer science foundations and mathematics. So normally, there, there are usually three to five objectives of the study. Okay, so I have just discussed to you the guidelines in formulating the statement of the problem since they are similar in the guidelines for formulating the objectives of the study. Only... Um, the objectives of the study is in declarative form. Okay, the, this is another sample illustration. Um, for the general objective, this study aims to develop a game application that uses genetic algorithm for the game's artificial intelligence that can compete with the abilities of the human. So this is the general objective. Then, the specific objectives, the following statements are the specific objectives of the study. So, to implement the Battleship board game in mobile phone supported with Google's 
Android platform. So, herein, it has been this um, specified in what platform the mobile application will be implemented. Then, to develop an artificial intelligence for battleship game with easy and difficult levels and to use genetic algorithms in developing the game's artificial intelligence. Okay, take note of that, um, how these statements are formulated in order to answer the main objective of the study. Now, let's move on to another example. Uh, in the research entitled Mythical Adventures of Mang Mokanor, an action-adventure game, the general and specific objectives of the study are presented in this wise. So we have here the general objective is to develop an action-adventure game and familiarize the players about the mythical creatures believed to exist in the Visayas region. According to an article written by Miguel Almario of Clarksville Middle School and Mika F. Lindemans, there are isolated islands and barrios in the Visayas familiar about the different way of living and secrets of these mythical creatures. So the specific objectives first is introduce the story of the mythical creatures here in the Philippines through game development. Then integrate appropriate algorithms to be applied in the game. And lastly, to evaluate the game in terms of functionality, usability, reliability, and efficiency. Okay, so most um, software applications really have evaluation of the um, system's usability. So, um, I will give you a questionnaire on the usability which can be used to survey your, your users once you have um, done your implementation of your system so you will use that in your methodology and now let's have the statement of the problem and its difference with the objectives of the project so Lavinia et al the authors of our reference or textbook are privileged to be members of panel of examiners of different colleges and universities so the panel of examiners are the ones who will evaluate the researchers um, during their thesis defense. So they notice that their either statement of the project's problems or objectives is required in any thesis and or capstone project. However, in some schools, thesis capstone project format, both are required. Unfortunately, the only difference between the statement of the problems and objectives is that the former is written in inter interrogative form, while the latter is in declarative form. So they commented that such is redundant. So this should not be the case. And a question here is, is it wrong to include both the statement of the problem and objectives of the project or study? So, as we have discussed earlier na, um, the objective of the problem and statement of the problem is redundant. Only when you are having a research that is on software development. However, for computer foundations and mathematical aspects topics, you will need to have the statement of the problem and the objectives of the study. So, why is this the case? Um, because, just bear in mind that both statement of the problems and objectives are required in pure computer science thesis. And, only the objective of the study is required in any other cases. Why? The real and objectives and substantive difference between the significance of the study and objectives of the study or project will reveal the answer. Okay? In purely computing science thesis, the researchers need to reach new conclusions. That is why you are going to have research questions. 
and establish new facts and learn as much as the truth as possible. So, why we are having research? Because we research to understand the world and to explain why things happen. That is why in computing thesis or purely computing thesis, you will need to have the statement of the problem. But in layman's term, if we want to know if Pedro is in his house in Kaduyao, the answer could be positive or negative. So we can have a question, is Pedro in the house? So this is a researchable problem because we are not sure what will be the answer to this question. In this case, the statement of the problem should be used. Now, if we are certain that already certain already that Pedro is in the house and we want to command him to clean the house, we are certain that we what we will what will be the outcome of our purpose? And that is the house will be dirt free or less dirty at the very least. In this case, the objectives of the project should be used. So for this reason, in software development, a conclusion is not required. And because in software development, the proponent begins with the end in mind. And the end in mind, which refers to the requirement documentation. Okay? So there is no need to conclude because the proponent is already aware of his design's final outcome that is his objective or goal. Because we design to make things happen, so we should not conclude and explain why things happen in a capstone project. So, in our class, we will only have the objectives of the study for the problem. Okay? So, since most of you are into software development, I will... Um, inform otherwise if you need to have the statement of the problem i only discuss first the uh, guidelines in formulating the statement of the problem because it is just similar to the guidelines in formulating your objectives of the study okay so that will be the end of our discussion and thank you for listening